Tonight, only on RTV6, a dispute over a plot of land is pitting neighbor against neighbor. Two families agree that high weeds and shrubs have grown out of control on a mostly vacant lot on the city's south side, but they've been at odds about who should pay to clean it up. RTV6's Chance Walser joins us now with both sides of the story. Chance. Homer and Donna Harrison have lived in their home for 50 years. They say for most of that time, the neighboring property looked nice, but the maintenance they used to see has turned to neglect. The lot is filled with weeds and tree stumps too heavy to manhandle. The Harrison's fence is losing the battle to hold it all back. I just want it cleaned up. He's been trying to clean the weeds off of the fence. Donna and her husband Homer say they've seen the neighboring property get worse since the house that was there got demolished several years ago. It's just it's just a regular dump is what it is and more than uh, we're getting all kinds of rodents and stuff. Since 2011, the city has sent property owners several citations for high grass and excessive piles of brush. Those fines were paid, the case is closed. City compliance means only 50% of a lot needs to be clear of high weeds and grass. And in this case, the front of the lot is cut. The property belongs to David and Connie Hollick, who now live on the other side of town. The condition of the lot right now is not something that's satisfactory to you. No, no, it's not satisfactory at all. In fact, I'd, I'd like to, uh, you know, be done with it, get the, the wood hauled off and out of there. David is referring to wood from two towering trees on the lot that he had cut down, but the stumps and logs remain. He says he's physically unable to do the cleanup himself, and money to hire it out has been tight. Unless I have somebody come and actually take the wood away, it, it's like, it, you know, I can't do it. It's just a jungle. The Hollicks claim they've been waiting on an agreed upon $500 from the Harrisons to help with that cost. The Harrisons deny any agreement, and a friendship that goes back 30 years is now on the fence. The property owners say they do plan to get that lot cleaned up soon. David Hollick says he is even considering giving the property to Habitat for Humanity. Chance Walser, RTV6.